Well, this cat down there in Louisiana near the Boogaloo, he had one of those old houses, one of them old, old antebellum type mansions. And uh, he done got it historical classified through Bobby Freeman, lieutenant governor, because the governor down there wouldn't probably go for that because he'd have a little bit more smart. Not saying that Bobby ain't got none, but I mean, that's just the way he is. He's a free man. And so he's got, and this fellow's got this house declared historical and said it was used as a hospital and everything during the wall between the states and all that kind of jive. And there didn't nobody stay in it because it wasn't built until 1936. But he wanted to unload it because of taxes and everything that's getting to him. And he wanted to sell it to a, uh, a Yankee as a tourist trap. And uh, he had this story worked out real good, and he had him a, a Yankee all set up to go for the action. But there was one problem. The house was rumored to be hainted. And that's just in case any of you Yankees are in this place. That means haunted. And it's one of them big old houses, and so he's got to get somebody to stay in that old house and spook away the spooks. So he goes outside there, and he sees Willie sitting on a bale of cotton. Now, I don't have any idea what cotton was doing sitting on there, or Willie sitting on a bale of cotton when that's rice and cane country and peppers. But anyway, he don't care nothing about that, and he says, Hey, Willie, said, are you scared of anything? He said, No, sir, I'm not scared of anything or nothing neither. <laughs> I ain't scared of either one of them. I said, well, that certainly is nice. He said, would you mind spending the night in that old house of mine down there in the Boogaloo? He said, no, sir. As a matter of fact, that is one of our things is housing. <laughs> I wouldn't mind spending the night anywhere. He said, well, that's good. But you got to put something on me because I ain't going to do it for nothing. I mean, even if you could come up with it, I ain't going to do it for nothing. He said, well, what is nothing? Nothing is the sum total of the absence of everything. <laughs> It's a weird trip, ain't it? Straight away there, he said, I want some RCs and some moon pies, and I want some catfish and a big cauldron of grease, and then I'll go up there and I'll send some knee-high grapes and orange, and I'll have myself a party. And I said, I'll rejoice. And he said, well, that's good. He said, well, I'll see. He said, okay. He said, bye. He said, sell. So he splits. And he gets over to this old house, and he gets in there, and he's sitting rocking, got that fire going, them catfishes is jumping and singing Dixie, and everything's happy. And he done drank himself one of them grape sodas to turn his mouth just as purple. And he's just having the best time eating the moon pie. And nine o'clock come along. Bong, 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 bong. And the door opened up real slow and fast at the same time. That's half rapid, blood. <laughs> in walked a little bit of something other about that tall bad looker fierce looking little person got red hair and red eyes and long skinny knuckly up gnarly little fingers and little weird looking little knobby knees look like little ping pong balls little long skinny feet and he walking that skr -skr 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 Willie looking at him he say is you gonna be here when John gets here he said, you ain't nothing but a figment. That's all you is. And threw an RC bottle cap at him, hit him, blam. He went out the window and the dog ate him. Willie sitting there rocking south there and have this thing whipped. Said, I ain't going to let them little people mess with me. 11 o'clock come along. Bong, 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 bong. And the door opened up a little slower this time, beloved, like that. Zap. And then comes somebody about that tall from the bottom of my hand to my feet. And he's weird looking. He's got red hair and red eyes and long, long arms and a little short body and, and little short legs and something other looked like Lebanese tennis shoes on his feet with one toe encased and the others cut out where his corns hurt his feet. And he's looking at him just as so serious. And he said, is you going to be here when John gets here? He said, man, you ain't nothing, nothing, neither. Now, wouldn't you like to see an English teacher diagram that sentence? You ain't nothing, nothing, neither. The only difference between a Southern English professor and a Harvard English professor is a Southern English professor would know it's all grammatically incorrect and double negatives and forget it. A Harvard English professor would actually try to get a Ford Foundation grant and run that thing through the Supreme Court and force it on us. But it don't make no difference. He took an RC bottle and threw it at him. Blam, he's gone. Willie said, say, I got this thing whipped now. I got this thing whipped. He said, I got this thing. I, got, I just got it. And he just sang and he just was having this thing. Swing low, sweet Cadillac. Coming for the carry me on. Swing low, sweet Cadillac. Like a rug. 
coming. Woo! Are carrying me home? So look across the river and what I see. What? Coming for to carry me home. Band of Fleetwoods coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. And Willie just as happy, just rocking and a singing. And all of a sudden, the door opened up, showing us slow this trip like. <laughs> Boom! And in through that door walks a great big monster, nine feet tall. Something looked like eyes spinning like ball bearings. And got this hair all the way down to his waist. And he's got these chains all over his body. Looks like Scrooge's business, Buddy Marley. He's so bad looking, he make Mean Joe Green look like a brownie girl scout. I mean, he's bad looking, got this mosses on his hands and his feet. And he's just taking them big steps. Zoom! Zoom! Chump Willie kind of ease back on this one. He eased back so far he gets behind the wallpaper. And this big monster took that step, chum, chum, chum. Get over there where them RCs and moon pies and knee high grapes and oranges and everything is just recycled mall blood. Chum, 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 chum. Takes his big old hand and scoop it down that hot boiling grease. Zap! Leats all them catfish fins, toes, everything. Chomp, 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 chomp. Picks up this big collar in the grease and consume the content thereof. Blug, 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 blug. And thrown it down, which is southern for throat. And grab yourself a handful of that fire out of that fireplace and wipe his mouth. And said, is you going to be here when John gets here? He said, man, if you ain't John, I'm gone. <laughs>